Man, is it brutal out there or what? Raise your hand if you've become frustrated because you want to buy a new build home, but there's either no lots available, there's bidding wars that you don't want to have any part of, or you've been in lottery after lottery and you still haven't been picked. Well, believe me, you're not alone in this. And in today's video, I'm going to bring you five more new build communities that are out on the horizon that will be bringing new homes to the Queen Creek area through 2021 and into 2022. Now, if that's the type of information that you're looking for, then stick around because we're getting started right now. Hi and welcome back. If this is our first time meeting, my name is John Farron. I'm a realtor with Home Smart Lifestyles right here in Queen Creek, Arizona. And on this channel, we talk about all things real estate as it pertains to Queen Creek and the surrounding area. You know, I've been working with a lot of buyers this past year or so. And although we have had success, the waiting list and the lotteries and the bidding wars to actually get a new build lot has taken its toll. And so in an effort to provide a little bit of hope for 2021, I'm going to introduce you to five new build communities that are out on the horizon that I think you should keep your eye on as it's going to bring more homes to this area throughout the rest of this year and into next. And so if you stay with me to the end, I'll actually give you a bonus community that's going to be opening up here real soon. And I know you don't want to miss out on that. So last year I put out a similar video highlighting five new build communities that were on the horizon. And if you want to check out that video, you can see it right up here. Today's video is going to highlight five different new build communities that are coming. All right, let's get started. So first up is Meritage Homes at Spur Cross. Meritage Homes, they're the last builder to break ground in the master plan community of Spur Cross. Now Spur Cross is located northeast of Ocotillo and Signal Butte Roads and Spurcross is a community of about, I don't know, 800 homes or so, and they've been built by TriPoint, which used to be Marikay, Richmond American, and Ashton Woods Homes, and now Meritage is now closing out the community. And now this established community features a community pool and rec center, walking paths, sports courts, tot lots, and just a whole bunch of other fun things for you to do. There are five single-story floor plans in this collection, and they range in size from 1,568 square feet up to 2,415 square feet. And again, they're all single story homes and the base prices range from $490,000 up to $550,000. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of work yet to be done here. They've only barely just got started, but pre-sales have already begun and they're selling out of the Archer Meadows office in Santan Valley. So the next up is Magnolia Groves by D.R. Horton. So located southeast of Riggs and Gary Roads, this area actually is technically in Santan Valley, but the neighborhood directly across the street is Queen Creek, so it's really, really close. I figure that counts. So Magnolia Groves is really still in its infancy stage, so floor plans and pricing have not been released. There's no information on that, but here are a few things that we do know. This will be a gated community and they'll be featuring two collections of homes. There's 277 individual home sites here, and some of the amenities that will be included here will be a park with a half basketball court, several ramadas, and some walking trails. Now, they anticipated pre-sales opening this month, but I don't think that's happened yet, and there's no information yet as to when that will take place, so we'll keep an eye out on that one. And then up next is the West Park Estates by Richmond American Homes. So West Park Estates is located along the north side of Ocotillo Road, halfway between Sossaman and Haas Roads. So if you know where Manziel Carter Oasis Park is, this neighborhood is located directly south of there. There's 120 individual home sites here and lot sizes are gonna range in size from 7,475 square feet to over 36,000 square feet. That is a big lot. Lots located along the outline of the project will at least be 25,000 square feet and larger. Lots that are about 11,500 square feet to nearly 13,000 square feet in size are gonna be located on the west and southern portions of this community, including along Ocotillo Road. And then the remaining balance of lots are just shy of 7,500 square feet. In fact, more than 80% of this project 
will be single family homes sitting on lots that are at least 10,000 square feet or larger. And this project too is yet still in its infancy, so there's no floor plan or pricing information quite available just yet. Next up on our list is Pulte Homes at Harvest at Queen Creek. Located southwest of Riggs and Gary Roads, Pulte is already well established in the Harvest community, but they've sold out of all of their lots in the first phase and they're now getting ready to develop their second phase. Now they've recently released some limited information on what's coming and pre-sales are expected to start later this fall. Now this phase consists of 80 additional home sites and the average lot sizes here are 6,250 square feet. And there's gonna be five different floor plans that Pulte will be offering here. The Barletta and the Catania floor plans, which are already being offered in phase one, will be continued into phase two and then they're going to add three brand new two-story floor plans to this collection. Now these two-story floor plans are new to Harvest and there's very little information on the floor plans themselves, and there's no information at all on pricing just yet. And then last on the list is Meritage at Santan Groves. So I just happened to notice this project recently while I was out driving around. The Santan Groves subdivision is another Meritage Homes development, and there will be up to 462 residential lots sitting on nearly 153 acres of land. Now this neighborhood is located near the intersection of Hunt Highway and Thompson Road, which is in Santan Valley, and it'll be just west of the Toll Brothers community of Preserve at Santan. Now, try as I might, I couldn't find any further information on this community. What I have given you here is all that I could find, so rest assured I'll be keeping an eye out on this one, and I'll provide updates as more information becomes available. Now these five communities are not all that there is. There's other communities out there as well that are in the pre-planning stages or maybe they've just broken ground or they're still working on the infrastructure. So there is more coming that will provide some more opportunities here as we move later into the year. And I know that I haven't given you a lot of solid information in this video and that's mainly because there just isn't that much information out there yet, but I wanted to let you know what is coming, what's out there on the horizon, so that you can keep an eye out for it and maybe develop an interest in some of these areas or at least know that more homes are coming to the market. Now, you should probably check back often because I can assure you that as these communities develop and as more information becomes available, I will be back with updated videos on each of these individual communities and you're not gonna wanna miss out on any of that, right? And now at the beginning, I told you that if you stuck with me to the end, I'd share with you a bonus community that will be opening soon. And so here it is. Malone Estates by Madame Homes is set to open next month during the month of May. This community is located on the northwest corner of Ocotillo and Meridian Roads. Now they're going to have eight different floor plans being offered here. And the home sizes range between 1,680 square feet all the way up to 2,890 square feet. And of the eight homes, six of them will be single story homes and the other two are two story homes. Within these plans, some of them have a two car garage, one of them has a two and a half car garage, and then all the rest come with three car garages. Now some of the amenities will include outdoor shared spaces, a community central park with play structures and barbecue grills, and there'll also be walking paths that will kind of guide you throughout the entire community. Now as of this recording, pricing is yet to be determined, but we should expect to hear something real soon. And of course, once this community opens, you know I'm gonna take you on a video tour of it and I'll have all the information ready for you then. Now I know that it has been a really rough year, year and a half, as demand for homes has greatly increased and supply for it seems to have dwindled. And I know that being on waiting lists or participating in lotteries and drawings, waiting to get a lot is really frustrating. The truth is it's not only frustrating just for the buyers, it's frustrating for those of us who are trying to help you and it's really even frustrating for the new home sales reps because really they just don't have product to sell right now and their hands are kind of tied. Now nobody knows just how long this is gonna go on for, but with these communities I talked about today, plus the ones in the previous video, plus the others that are out there, I think it's safe to say that at least help is on the way. And I can tell you this much, 
The earlier you get in on one of these new build communities, the better because prices are only going to continue to go up. So if you get in early, you get the best pricing and then as that home is being built, you're building equity. So by the time you move into that house, you've already gained 40 or $50,000 in equity because the prices have increased over that build time. So if you're thinking about buying a new home, whether it's a new build or even a resale home, and you think that you and I would be a good fit, well then I invite you to call, text, email me, heck, I don't know, send that singing telegram. However it is that you choose to communicate because when it comes to buying and selling homes in the Southeast Valley, I've got your back. Now you should probably check out some of the other videos on the channel as well. See what jumps out at you, see what else you like. While you're there, remember to hit that subscribe button, click on the bell so that you'll be notified every time a new video gets uploaded. And while you're at it, you may as well follow me on social media right here. Now, while you're busy doing all of that, I'm going to be right here looking forward to seeing you in the next video.